Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Sloan, Editorial Director of Soap Opera Digest, here with three fan favorites from The Young and the Restless to celebrate a week of classic episodes of the Baldwin Fisher family. With me are Judith Chapman, who plays Gloria. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. Christian LeBlanc, who plays Michael. Hi. Hi, everyone. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. And Greg Rickhart, who plays Kevin. Hi, everybody. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. So, Christian, you had been on the show for many years before they introduced a family for you. Um, when did you first hear that you'd be getting a brother, and what was your reaction? You know, Greg and I were working on the show separately. I mean, Kevin was already on the show with no storyline that ever interacted with each other. Uh, and then, right, the story goes, wasn't it, that Asia was watching television. That was Jack Smith, the head writer at the time's daughter, and noticed that Greg and I looked a lot alike. We looked like brothers. And apparently, uh, that's where this idea came from. And it actually worked well with the kind of... Um, they had this full, full-formed full Michael Baldwin character, and the writers geniusly backstoried it all to fit, and it all fit perfectly. Why you would go to the law, why, uh, and then you brought in the troubled brother, and then the mother fit right in. So it was, um, uh, then they planned that great scene where uh, Greg just kind of walks into my office out of his storyline with, uh, with Crystal Khalil and says, say it, Greg, because I like the way you say it. Uh, let's see if I remember. Hey, brother, long time no see. Yep. That, you know, that, that did me looking up from my desk, and what are you doing here? The, o the, only, the only thing I'll add to that, that's the, the, the way I've always told the story, what I always heard was that, and it was pretty early on to when I had started on the show, that we had our first fan event. And oh, right. uh, serendipitously, they sat Christian and I next to one another. And the way I heard the story that was that's when Asia... Uh, Jack's daughter said, hey, I never noticed that Greg and Christian favored one another. And so um, that might have been the beginning, the beginning of the, the, the seeds of that. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, what was your relationship like off camera then? Or were, did you hang out at the time behind the scenes? Did you really know each other well before you we, started? We had a, we had, so go, go. Well, we had a mutual friend. I, I want to say Christopher Rice, who had said, hey, I have another friend who works on the show. So... We had, uh, I think we had lunch one day and we, we socialized did. a bit, but it wasn't really until after um, we knew what was happening story-wise that we said, hey, this is going to serve us well to spend a lot of time together, get to know one another, get to really sort of flush out this, these characters and, and um, the relationship was born that way. Yeah, it was, it was really, uh, it was well matched. Uh, the, the casting and whoever got these ideas. And like, I think you might've told me originally a story about Asia, because I don't know if I heard it from Asia herself ever. Um, but what was great is that it was pretty seamless when we started. And, and, and Greg and I probably couldn't be not more different prequel, but we're, you know, we're, it wasn't one of those things like we're twinsies. It was always a surprise to me that we appeared to be brothers even in our behavior and how we acted with each other the only expertise i have is i had six brothers but greg has a sister <laughs> <laughs> so he missed out on that part of it all yeah. um, but, be, but beyond the beyond the beyond the physical uh resemblance or you know even just that we could have come from the same stock no yes was that um i think what was so sort of really uh enjoyable and why it sort of uh, landed so well with the audience was that like oh my god yes of course these two um, <laughs> ne'er-do-wells would be brothers you know and, and that they meshed two storylines that had nothing to do with one another like yeah. kevin came on as the internet's kind of stalker he was involved with crystal and <laughs> wait, but it was wait, a great storyline and i remember seeing him in it but that i don't even know if we met in person before this all came out I mean, but we did go out to the Grove and we had lunch and I remember we, we talked there and we really bonded. But when you walked on set, when Greg came on set and the same thing was true with Judith, um, same thing with Tracy. And that's not always the case. Uh, we've been very lucky on the show. There was such a, a meld that went on that it was very easy to be Greg's brother. It was, it was very, it was there. It meshed so beautifully. And again, we, 
Uh, I think that was the first year we worked together that the, that not that said, but we, that was the Emmy year, right? Mm -hmm. It was our first year together. Yeah. As, as Kevin and, and you know, and we won together and we won working with each other, the scenes that we had in there. And that's, you know, and I, it was that kind of joyous kind of thing. I mean, it really was. And Michael had talked for years about being alone in the world. I mean, it really was a point. And then you had to make it, oh, well, that's why he kept all that hot mess a secret. And <laughs> it worked. It worked. Well, then, were you excited when you heard that Michael was getting a family? Yes. Oh, definitely. That's kind of one of the stages in, in soap development. Right. Um, it was really interesting to make a character that kept saying he was alone in the world. And it was a big part of who Michael was. And then when they started introducing the family, the family they chose for him really kind of tied it in together. This is the family you would just say, they're gone, they don't exist for me, and I refuse to acknowledge them. And they had to, you know, each had to fight their way into the whole Michael's head. You know, Greg comes into the office. He just walks in like he owns the world. It was a great scene because he comes in as if, it's his, yeah, hey, I'm here. And it was so understated and written so beautifully. But it was acted. It, it was just like I said, there was a brother. And, and the same thing for Judith coming in on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, what crazy mother, some <laughs> leopard probably, walked in. And, and you know, it's, it's that way. But w I mean, it was really great to have that brothers as because it really was initially the brothers against mom coming mm -hmm. in, right. and then defending him and, and Greg, I mean, played these scenes, uh, which were very violent and very and, and, and to give Greg that we had a that an abusive father, of course, a, a, a lawyer, a, a man who, who abused women himself and treated women as disposable would have maybe a parent an abusive father and be with the result of of having abandoned i mean they gave me that great they gave us this great thing where i abandoned him to be brutalized by his father our father you know it, it's brilliant it was really a, a a writing gift and so were the actors were casting was amazing yeah now it wasn't long before they did bring on a mother for the boys um so first it was joan van ark and then judith you stepped in and have been there ever since so what was it like for you when you first came on set and met both christian and greg and what was that dynamic like for you well i met greg first because i hadn't done a soap opera in many years in many years and i just was ready to get out of the desert get back to hollywood in this golden beautiful gloria part landed in my lap and I knew the minute I read the script I went this one's mine you just, as actors you have a you know in your gut and thank God I got to work with Christian for my final audition for the head honchos at um, CBS Sony and uh, but I was upstairs on the third floor and I'm walking and all of a sudden I see this little angelic face staring up, not up at me staring at me and he said, I think you're playing my mom. <laughs> and Greg, it was Greg. And I went, oh, my God, oh, my God. So we, like, giggled, giggled about that. But um, to walk on set, because I hadn't done a soap, but as Christian said, it was home. It just felt so right. There was instant, instant chemistry between the whole clan. But what a lot of people don't remember, it, and Christian touched on it, he, Gloria was not a funny have fun kind of gal um, in the beginning. She was very, da she was damaged. They were all damaged. And, but there were a lot of very dramatic scenes, not very dramatic as we've done, just truly dramatic scenes between the three of them, either one-on-one -on -one or the three together and screaming and breaking down. So we sometimes forget that their birth of this family, of this clan was not an easy one was painful and re as you say christian super super but it got to the point when we'd start and i'm one of these actresses i need my five seconds of zen and christian be yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right up to showtime and i said christian please mommy needs her five seconds of zen and so we all had to literally screaming with it. each other huh screaming five five seconds she had to <laughs> but i think we all have different um we all, all three of us have different approaches yeah. and they're not so divergent from one another that even, you know, Christian brings a little chaos. Judith, <laughs> brings, Judith brings a more Zen version of chaos. I, I think I'm a little, I get a little quiet. Well, I guess Judith does too, but, mm -hmm. um, but it all, you know, it all, whatever is happening Definitely. in the moments before just feeds right into what we do. And 
It's all yeah. great. No, it, it was wow. so exciting. All right, sorry. It well, was no, so exciting, though, to uh, to find this niche 